Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ohima. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming to see our new brows. We got new brows, okay? So you guys, I'm gonna show you guys today my brows. I went ahead and I took BB up on her offer to have her redo my brows and have it come out darker, sharper, and have it look exactly how I wanted it to look the first time I tried it. So I'm going to take you guys out of my studio, out of my filming studio into BB's studio and we're going to see the process of whenever she did the brows and you know up until now. I'm also going to show you guys it's been Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's been five days since she did my brows. So I'm gonna show you guys the, as the days progressed what my brows look like up until how they look like now. This is not this is not their final form. I need to go ahead and wipe my brows off. I had to go ahead and fill it in. I'm not supposed to put any product on there, but I needed to film today. Like I absolutely needed to film today. I had a contract that needed to be fulfilled today. Okay, so I had to film. And so I had to put some color on my brows for like a few hours, but I'm gonna have to hurry up and go clean it. And I'm gonna gently clean the product of my brows so I don't remove the ink from my skin, okay? Let's go ahead and jump into the micro shading on my skin tone. Once again, I am oily skin. Um, and I am dark and this is my second time doing um, micro shading and yeah let's see how BB does Hi, I'm Bianca Margolis and welcome to Baby's Beauty Boutique. I'm very excited to give you an awesome pair of brows today. Okay, so I'm definitely going to work with what, what shape you have. I'm going to try and perfect it and make the ends a little more sharper. Um, are you happy with the width? I mean, I know I have to work with it. You're happy with the width? Yeah. Um, is there anything that you want that you are requesting? No, oh, essentially just for it to show up more. To show up more. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we did micro bleeding in the front. That's why it's not so oh, apparent. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I we didn't see. do it all. We didn't shade oh, it didn't all the shade way. Oh, you didn't shade it all the way. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, that's why. Okay. So all I right. guess if you shade it all the way, and just do it how you normally do it. Okay. So the first part, um, so that's why I was saying I was looking at your videos a lot to see the shape that you like. You see, fortunately like the... with you, I, I can, I have a lot of work to look at. You on know, other people? Um, I have done makeup on other people, but it's not like a... I am going to um, take off a little bit of hair underneath. That's just so that I can see. And also, um, I, I want it to be a really sharp you know, the definition and not, I can't because I want to see where they ended with your brow there. Hi guys, so I didn't anticipate editing this video to be so long, but I wanted to make sure that you guys get at, you know like a full representation of how long it takes to do your brows she said it generally takes between two hours to do it but because we were filming we took longer first after she cleaned my brows with some alcohol wipes she went ahead and um, essentially cut my brows um i don't know trimmed my brows to to just make sure that there were no excess hairs that were going to get in her way of her being able to mark my brows and then she wiped it down once more with some alcohol i think it's alcohol I'm, i don't know what she was wiping it with but it's something that was supposed to sanitize and um like an antiseptic i think it's antiseptic they call it if it's not antiseptic just she used it to clean my brow so i don't have like dirty skin or germs or makeup or whatever okay and then she went ahead and she started marking it so i don't know what the marking is called called i'm just gonna say marking and measuring you know where my what my tail what the tails of my brows are gonna be 
where the arch peaks of the arch are gonna be where the beginning of the brows the end of the brows and then she like measured it okay so once her lines were done she was comfortable enough to go ahead and start drawing it in and she just used a black brow pencil i think and she just drew in the brows you know the way that she marked it the way she thought i wanted it and also to kind of sort of follow my old one even though my old one was like super 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 faded she could still see it and she tried to mimic that shape that i wanted as closely as she possibly could okay so after she marks it she goes ahead and she uses like a tiny little wipe thing to get the lines as precise as possible so that's what she's doing And then, you know, after everything is marked and wiped and as precise and crisp as possible, she goes back in and she uses an app that has like lines in it or whatever. <laughs> and it helps like, you know, let you know how straight the brows are or how, you know, perfect they are. If, it, if they're not, the app helps you see where the mistakes are and you can fix it. So after she sees the you know the app and she fixes it she goes back in and marks it again so she can physically see where the mistakes are and then she fixed everything now what bb likes to do is that she likes to uh, fill in your brows completely and then put concealer around it so that it could be very stark very harsh and then she wants you to get up and you can see your brows and let her know if you like it if not then they can tweak it however you know however you feel needs to be tweaked okay so that's what we did and after we had you know filled it in applied like super light concealer and tweaked it as much as we possibly could and she went back in and did the lines and you know fixed whatever tiny little mistakes there were it was time to actually go ahead and start filling in the brows so what she likes to do is to mark the outlines of the brows with the concealer and everything around your brows but she marks inside the black like she marks in the black part of the brow okay so that's what she's doing right now i'm just gonna let you guys go ahead and watch because that's all she's doing just marking the outline she's not filling it in she's just marking right on the outside of it she didn't do anything on the inside because she can't do it on the inside with the black pencil on it so she just marked the outline and it comes out very, very faint, but she can see it.
Okay, so at this point she's already done marking the outline and you can see like the line is very super super faint but she can see it and she knows where she marked it okay so then she goes ahead and numbs the brow because she doesn't like to numb it with the uh with the pencil with the pencil on the brow so she marks the outline cleans your skin very very well and then she goes ahead and applies the numbing cream and i don't remember exactly how long the numbing cream stayed on but it stayed on until the other brow was done being marked and um and outlined and then we went ahead and started filling in the brows Over here, you can see clearly the lines that she drew, the two lines that she drew on there. You can see it very clearly now. And the point where I'm showing you right now was the tail of my old brow. It looks like it's peeking through, but I feel like once this brow, once this brow is a lot darker, you're not going to see it. So we started filling it in, okay? And <laughs> that was a process. She did, I want to say, three to four times on each brow but you know it was like in sections so she did the tail really really deeply she marked she wiped it she did it again and then she went to the other side did that came back did it one more time it's like little little, little sections so it was like four times with each section that way we can get enough ink penetration and accumulation um i didn't record each of the parts that she was doing but it was like a few times each per brow So I'm just going to let you guys go ahead and watch. If I feel like there's something I have to explain, I will come back. But essentially, that's all she was doing. I couldn't put the sound on for you to hear it, but because we were playing music and I don't want YouTube to, you know, take away the ads on my video. But um, it sounds like a tattoo machine, but I think it's not as loud. It's a very, very tiny needle and it almost sounds like a tattoo needle. If you've ever gotten a tattoo of any kind, you know, that's what it is. And... Stockholm. Now I never 
So here I'm just showing you, you can see that every time she does one other brow, she numbs my other side because I was just extra sensitive today, okay? And on this side of the brow that I'm showing you, she had already done it like a few times already, like two, three, I want to say two, three passes already. And that's why it was showing up a little bit more than in the beginning, but she had done a few passes already. So you can see how swollen my brow is. It is super, super swollen. It's gonna be inflamed. So I looked very, very weird after I did it. But um, this is the final color. It's very sharp as you can see, and the color is there. But I wanted her to do like the Instagram thing where they wipe it off. She usually normally doesn't do this. I just told her, hey, can you do the Instagram thing where we wipe it off so we can actually put that in the video? Cause I like, I like, I like to see the reveal. So that's what we did and she just obliged and she did it for me <laughs> so that's what i'm doing right now this is just for your viewing pleasure she doesn't normally do this and then she went ahead and tweaked any or tweezed any hairs that were struggling loose hanging around and all of that good stuff so i went ahead and also asked her questions in regards to i mean questions that you guys have sent over either on instagram or here on youtube so she's gonna talk and tell us there was um a section that didn't record where she wants me to wipe my brows six times every 30 minutes or every 30 minutes six times with the bottled water and the cotton rounds that were in the aftercare package that she gives you Hello guys, I'm Bianca Margolis and I am the owner of BB's Beauty Boutique located in Frederick, Maryland. And you can follow me at BB's Beauty Boutique on Instagram or at BB's Beauty Boutique on Facebook. I am a permanent makeup artist. I do lashes. I do permanent makeup, which includes microblading, micro shading. I also do lash extensions, waxing, threading, and henna tattoos. Ooh, I didn't know all that. Okay, so what did we do for me today? Okay, so we created an ombre brow for you, um, which is different from microblading. It is micro shading. And the difference between microblading and micro shading is that uh, with microblading, you actually creating hair like strokes uh, as opposed to micro shading, where we actually shade in the brow, shade in the brow as opposed to creating hair strokes. That's the main difference between microblading and micro shading. What's a good skin type for micro shading? Because that's what we did. Mm -hmm. Like, can oily skin people get micro shading? So yes, definitely. Um, micro shading. Um, Pretty much any skin type can get it, although it will last longer if you are a combination to dry skin as opposed to oily skin. The retention is not as good with oily skin. You can get it, but it won't just last as long as it will if you have dry skin or combination skin. How long does it typically last? Okay, so it'll typically last uh, between a year to two years, depending on your skincare type and the care that you take, how you take care of your brows. And then does it hurt? Okay. I guess you can only tell them about how it hurt. How, how does it? How did it hurt me compared to your other your other uh, client? Okay, so no. <laughs> does it hurt? It usually depends with um, people's pain threshold. A lot of people feel pain more than other people, so it's very difficult to say. Uh, to distinctly say how it will feel for for somebody if it'll hurt But generally it doesn't hurt that much because we do put a numb. It shouldn't hurt. It should feel maybe um, a different sensation Not quite hurt, but 
um, it's just a different feeling but we put numbing cream that kind of that numbs the, the pain away so you don't feel anything during the procedure how many times did you numb me? I well, numbed you quite a number of times, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think I numbed you like what? Was I a baby times. about it? <laughs> yes, you're, you have no, you cannot take any pain whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know how you had babies. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long it lasts on darker skin. Okay, how long does it last on dark skin? It is exactly the same as if it were on light skin. It just. Um, Again, depends on your skin type and depends on your care. Also, if you're taking other products that could, in, that it could increase the rate of um, the skin cell t turnover of your skin, it does also affect the length or the duration of how long your brows will last. You said something about care. Mm -hmm. What is the best way to care for your skin so that you you don't lose the pigments so quickly? So, for example, like there. Are, there, most people use skincare stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So like me, where I told you I use like retinols and vitamin C's and stuff, like how would we take care of our face and essentially our brows so we don't lose the pigment too soon? Well, you know, honestly, it's, it boils down to, if you're using products that just generally do not um, increase the, the products to be wary of are the ones that exfoliate us, things that, anything that um, peels your skin, increases turnover, those are the products that you need to be wary of. If you can, if you have to use them, try and avoid your brows, but um, I know that it's difficult to do that, but also care, if you're going to be somebody that uh, sits in the sun for long extended periods, especially when they are healing, try and avoid sweating. Try and avoid sitting in the sun, try and avoid um, going excessive exercise, anything that makes you perspire, anything that makes the, your brows moist, you're supposed to try and avoid. Typically it depends on, everybody's different because some people will, the flaking process will take four days, for some people it will take seven days. So typically after your brows have flaked, so between say four to eight days, that's when you can start, um, your brows will be much lighter than you expect them and that's because the new skin is growing over them but the color does come through eventually but in that period you're just supposed to just make sure that your brows are not overly exposed to sunlight or moisture oh how long how long do we wait before we do the second thing okay so with microblading or micro shading you have the initial appointment and then after that you will have an, a follow-up or a touch-up appointment or perfection touch-up appointment after four to six weeks i usually take it between six to eight weeks because i really want to make sure that your brows have healed and they have retained and we can definitely get a perfect um perfect the look that you want but typically it's between four to four to eight weeks <clears throat> after the initial touch-up oh how many i guess touch-ups do you need to get like if you're dark skinned to get well, I guess you can talk about light skin, how many you need to get the, the look. The, yeah, and the, the retention. Dark, well, you know, again, it depends on skin type. Some people do need like three, you know, three follow-up touch-ups before they get the look that they want, you know, the depth that they want. But usually it's at the most one touch-up, one follow-up touch-up, you should get the retention that you need. But there are occasions where you need to have two or three follow-up touch-ups before you get the look that you want. Was I a good client? Was I crying out? You were a fabulous <laughs> client. You made me laugh, you made me cry, you made me sing, we danced, we did everything. You were a fantastic client and I'm and always happy to have and you. And I was in pain all the time. <laughs> okay, so for me today, I'm, when I go home, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so after every appointment with every client, I give you an aftercare package. The aftercare package includes water, bottled water, a visor, cotton rounds, wash, and a healing balm. So the morning after your initial appointment, this is how you're going to take care of your brows. You're going to take a shower, and whilst you're in the shower, you will wear a visor. And this is to protect your brows from any moisture. Try and avoid any uh, steam. So if you can shower with the door open so that your the room is not steamy and unnecessary extra moisture gets into your brows. And then you will wash your face in the sink. So what you will do is you will take the wash, 
take a little bit of the lard of the bubbles and you will rub it over smoothly, not rub, but slide it over your brows twice and splash some water on it twice and immediately take a paper towel, dab at your brows and put a little bit of the healing balm. And that's how you're going to be washing your brows until they are finished flaking or shedding. And you don't want to say a number of days because everybody's Yeah, suffering. because everybody. Which, what kind of ink or which type of ink did you use for me? Okay, so I use Perma Blend, Tina De Davis Perma Blend. So you will be back in about six to eight weeks for your touch up. Yay! So this is my second wipe. I was supposed to do it for six, six 30 minute intervals. So this is my second one. There's not really any plasma coming off my brows, but. Hey guys, so right now I have two cotton rounds left. I am sleepy. But I have two cotton rounds left, so then this would be my fifth and sixth time just dabbing on my brows with with damp cotton rounds i haven't had any plasma come out of my brows since i was in the studio when she was doing it but once i left <clears throat> but once i left there has been nothing so i'm just debating putting the balm on and going to bed but I didn't want to follow the instructions, just like she said. My lips are chapped. I'm so tired right now. I'm super tired. So I'm just going to wait a little bit and do one more. I don't think I can wait till after. I can wait an hour to do both. So I'm going to do one more and go to bed. The first one I did, you guys saw what residue we got. But after that, nothing has actually come off my brows. <clears throat> So I am going to put the ointment that she suggested on and then I'm going to go to bed and then in the morning I will dab the last one. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it just feels right now the only kind of pain I feel is when I do this and it's like right up here and that's it. Whenever I finished it was really swollen, it was really red and my skin was super super inflamed right now it's not as inflamed as before but you can see that it's like raised a little bit so hopefully by tomorrow it will flatten out i think we'll leave it at this um so thank you guys so much for coming with me to get my brows done i look funny Okay guys, so this is it. This is the final look. This is me five days post micro micro shading, micro shading. Five days post micro shading. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about it. I know that as the as my skin heals, it looks a little gray right now because it's still healing. Once it heals, it the color is gonna come in. And I'm gonna let her know in six weeks whether I want to do a touch-up or if the color looks okay. I mean, from what I'm seeing right now, it's looking like the shade, the color is gonna actually come in really really dark and i might not even go back and get a second a touch up so that it can come in deeper but i'll let you guys know 
of course I'll let you guys know what happened from day five up until six weeks so we can see how my brows progress okay so let me know down below in the comments if you've tried micro shading let me know what worked for you especially for someone like me who has to put makeup on and also let me know if you if you haven't yet tried micro shading let me know down below let me know down below in the comments if you're going to try micro shading okay thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye